of coins. Okay, I see. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, nothing big, nothing big, but look, you've got the the slot machine coins, but then you got the actual coins. So maybe, maybe they paid for it. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this. Jeremy here, and there is a hails of a winter storm on its way. My area, Worcester, Ohio, is supposed to get hit the hardest. So we gotta work fast, and we gotta be precise in unboxing today the $310 unit that we bought on LockerFox.com. Remember, they take 10% of your purchase price, so that $310 was actually $341, plus gas to get there, back home, meals, even though we did find some pretty pretty good cookies, and time. Time is the most valuable thing, and I don't know about your time, but mine's extremely valuable. We may not be seeing George for a while because I have a feeling she's gonna get snowed in up north. Viewers and subscribers ask all the time, Jeremy, when you do a sort, how do you do it? Well, here's the system, really easy. I put garbage right in here, recyclables right in here, and then this blue bin over here, that's all scrap metal. Now you can make a whole lot more scrap metal if you actually sort your metal, aluminum, copper, steel, stainless, all of that. For me, I don't have time to do that. It's not worth my time. I just send it all out. And then I jump into the actual trailer and I get into everything. And so you can see I've got all kinds of things in here we've got to go through today. And there's the most important thing. Today we're getting in there no matter what. If we have to use a sledgehammer, we're going to use a sledgehammer. But hopefully we don't have to. A couple other things that will be helpful as well when you're sorting. Look at this here. We've got the Barlow knife that Ron sent. And I even have my black light that... Gundy Glass sent, so thank you. They are faithful subscribers and friends, and it's time to dig in. One of the main reasons why I wanted this unit, as you're aware, if you watched part one, and if you haven't watched part one, make sure you do, and if you like these videos, make sure you comment, like it, and then share it with others as well, and if you dislike it, hit that dislike button two times, two times. Make sure everybody knows how much you dislike it. But I love this cash register. And I would actually like to use it here at the warehouse during the seasonal sales for garage sales, but we don't have the key yet. So the goal is gonna be to find the key. That doesn't turn, but here, listen. Something is in there. Definitely something in there. We just have to find the key. So we're gonna set it aside and hope to find the key. And if we do find the key, look at that. You can see all my breath is so cold here in Ohio. That or my breath is so horrible from eating all these things from units. When we do find the key, we'll dig in. If we don't find the key, well, we're just gonna get in one way or another. And you know George's favorite way. It took me just over three hours but I was able to get everything out of the way of the slot machines, out of breath for sure. Trying to come up an icy, slippery ramp with, I'm guessing those are 200, 300 pounds a piece. Uh, that was not fun, the big ones. So what you can see is we've got the easy emeralds right here. We've got Panic Saurus. We got a double jackpot. We've got another double jackpot over here, another kind of model, and then looks like we've got a magnum, okay? So we absolutely got five. That's great, I, I didn't even think there were gonna be five. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug a couple in and we're gonna see if they work or not. Now I do have the trays from the bottom and even one of the sorters from one off over here. And then we're just going to see if we can do a little play today since we've been working so hard already. This is slot machine number one, emeralds, easy emeralds. I have it plugged in. I think there's probably power switches like right there. Yeah, just like, a, <laughs> just like an arcade. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rams are wrong. 1,000 coins paid by machine, balance paid by the attendant. Let's just go ahead, we'll put in a couple coins. At least we'll try and put in a couple coins. See what happens. So far, nothing. 
Let me see. We've got the coin return is right here. Not registering. Hmm. Okay. Let's shut it again. Play two coins. I can't even get the coin return. Okay, for change or service. Um, this is gonna take more time than I have right now. So let's get the next one. This is a good sign that it lights up, but let's get the next one and let's see what that does. Number two, this is one of the two double jackpots. Let's go ahead and plug it in and let's see what we got going on here. Hey, we already have lights. Okay, I got a couple coins right here. So now we're going Rams wrong again. Winner paid, credits wrong. I think you have to program them. That would be my guess. I can't pull the handle right now. And it's not taking the coin. I'm sure there's a way to bypass the handle. Let's see. Yep, sure is. Let's see if I can figure it out. But it's probably, probably not going to do anything with the door open. Let's try again. Okay. See if we close the door. No, not yet. Try one more time on number two. All right, we're gonna have to work on this one too. I've got the Magnum here now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. We'll see what happens. How's it looking? I'm trying to get that plug to stay in. There we go, all right, it lights up. That's great. Okay, we're not getting anything here. Not saying anything. First coin, all right, let's see what we can do. Got a couple coins here. Let's see if it'll even take. Okay, no, not taken. And again, I gotta be honest, I don't know, I've never played a slot machine before, so who knows. Okay, let's open her up. Let's see, mechanism there looks okay. Let's see if we can get her to spin. We can get the handle to go down. I would think, that has to be closed. I'm just thrilled we got the lights on. Here, there's the safety. What if we do it like this? Man, I need three hands. We'll pretend it's closed. No spinning. All right. Could mean something's disconnected. There's just way too much to try and figure it out right now. And I got way too much to sort. But man, I really want to get them going just as much as you guys do. I mean, how cool. Could you imagine turning these into, not a coffee table, but just a, just a, a living room piece in your home? How cool would that be? Maybe even turn it into a fridge. Number four. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in, see what we got. And... Oh, look at that, we're up and running with lights again. So, looks like we have plenty of lights. Probably have to do a little bit of programming, would be my guess. Um, there's gotta be a way to put them on free play too. 
But in the dark here in the warehouse, and I have the lights off right now. Actually, there's not much light anyway. But I have the lights off so that we can actually see if these work or not. There's got to be a way to put it on free play. Coin, compartment, slide to replace coin. Okay. There we go. I just got the coin out. I, I figure out how that works now. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Nothing. So chances are I have no idea yet how to actually operate this and I need to program it. Still really cool. Let's go get number five. For this one, I had to come over to another location where the cord would reach. I have it plugged in already. I can hear it humming, but that's about it. And again, I haven't spent too much time trying to figure the whole system out. Here's a couple coins. Let's see what happens. Uh, comes right back down to the coin return. And there's a key to get in here. So I'm going to have to search this unit and go through everything meticulously just to see if I can find the key to get in here because while the sledgehammer will do it, I think it'd be pretty cool to actually keep this one. The good news is <laughs> I found my cookies again. So that's a bonus. I'm not going to starve today. I'm dead. And we got a bunch of boxes to go through. Whoop. Sorry, so I speak with my mouth full. All right, here we go. Mmm, apples to apples. Mancala. These all look like they're in good shape. Boggle. We've got, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Do you guys? An ancient Chinese strategy game. Something Go? I don't know. Maybe you know. Crikus, circus, circus, um, deluxe code Sudoku. We've got Munchkin. I actually think this one is worth something. Uh, for all you role playing guys out there, I think this one's worth something. I'm gonna set that one aside for eBay. We've got Texas Hold'em and Yahtzee. So it's all over the box, I'm guessing it's in there. But we've got Yahtzee right there. Mastermind down there and we've got a giant, giant domino. Look at that. Giant domino with all kinds of dominoes in it. Let's move that and pull up. We'll pull up another box here. How about this one? We've got I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. The Marauders map. This is Harry Potter. Still sealed. Originally 1450 for that little sign. Let's see what we have here. Looks like we're gonna have glassware. We got Angry Birds. So we got an Angry Birds mug. We've got uh, EMT mug. So that's kind of cool for anybody who's an EMT. We've got Coca-Cola. We found one of these in the other unit. So there's one there. We've got Coca-Cola. Let's see. We got Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. See if there's anything not Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. And eensy weensy tiny Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola with a handle. I think we're gonna be all Coca-Cola. Yeah, more Coca-Cola. That's got a blue tint to it. Got a tall FedEx box. Let's see what we got. We got a, a, a purse thing. Not a purse, just like a carrier. Looks like we got surround sound speakers. We definitely have surround sound speakers down here. So maybe we have surround equipment in here. No, 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 no. Look at this. Look at this. We have, we got a full-fledged projector here. We got an Epson, an Epson 3LCD projector. 
Here, let me move that out of the way so you can see. Wow. I wonder, uh, probably the remote and the cord are inside there. I wonder how much this is worth. Epson LCD projector model EMP-X5, right there. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man, this unit just, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, let's see what we got. Let me put my gloves back on. It's freezing out here as it is anyway, and we got the winter storm coming. We've got... Oh, look at this. It was probably easiest just to do it like this. We got a ton of embroidery and stitch work and jean patches, things like that. Thread, we got, a, we got just a bag of it right there. We've got a sheets jacket, which I have seen in the paperwork. Obviously, the uh, previous owner worked at sheets. Oh my goodness. And we've got a ton of Coke glasses with the handle. These, the other ones look blue. These look green. Look at it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, if not more. Believe it or not, there's actually sealed brand new stuff in there. For example, this Rubbermaid easy to find lids, 34 piece. It's brand stinking new, never open. I'm gonna take this one home. Guy like me who doesn't always have a George at home with him needs a thing like this just to survive. So I'm gonna take that home. That's gonna stay in our personal collection. And look at this 21 piece non stick aluminum cook cookware set. All of my stuff has come from storage units. This one is brand stinking new as well. So I don't know, why not just take it home and use this one, swap out all the used stuff and sell that and then use this one. So I think this one's coming home with me too. Hopefully George is okay with that. Not that I know how to cook obviously, but we'll figure it out. Oh, we got more games. No, not a big surprise there. These guys obviously like their games. So Blockus, little Tetris game. Here's Trivia Pursuit for all of you trivia experts. And what do we have here? We got, we got an R2-D2. So are you Star Wars lovers? There it is right there. Not sure if it's supposed to do anything. It looks like there's a light. Um, we've got, what does that say? Dachi? Da, da huh got two balls that make noise you hear it do you know what this is okay if you know what this is time stamp and remember time stamping is where the item is in the video and so if it's at five minutes and 33 seconds which I'm sure it's not but if it was you would type 5 colon 33 and then you would say this is what the item is and it creates a hyperlink that lets us know exactly what you're identifying. I don't know what those are. Made in China. Uh, look at this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at... We got two different things here. Snacks. That's not too bad. We've got... Uh, we got crispy lumps of coal, double crisp, and lollipop cherry bouquet. Okay. This, this looks pretty good right now. I've been out here for almost six hours. So everything you've seen from the beginning of this video until now, wherever you're at in the video, that's been six hours of work already. Sorting and moving and adjusting. Man, if I only had, where'd that knife go? I know I had a knife. No, there we go, we got it, we got it. Okay. And well, I think it, it's pretty nasty. I, mean, I think it's old. What a shocking opinion. Uh, it's not too good. Not too good on that one. Then we probably should have went with the with the double crisp. Oh, let's see what else we have in here. Get my gloves back on. We've got, uh, is this like a toothbrush? Is this like one of those water picks that you hook up? Maybe this is a water pick and then you brush your teeth with it. My dentist is always saying I need a water pick. Maybe that's what it is. 
But I don't know. Does this pump the water? Okay, maybe this pumps the water, and this is a water pick for your teeth to scrub and maybe to get up in your gums as well. That that's my guess. I don't know. We'll set that aside. Maybe I need that to get the cherry candy out of my teeth. Maybe I should use this and get that cherry candy out. Uh, we've got. Oh, look at this. They're. You know what these are? These are lightsaber chopsticks. You see that? These are Star Wars lightsaber chopsticks. Check that out. I wonder if they light up. How cool is that? That's really neat right there. It doesn't look like they light up, but what a, what a cool thing. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's see, we got an Antonio, a Cleopatra. Antonio and Cleopatra. Too bad it doesn't say Jeremy and George. Oh! Okay, uh, my apologies, we'll just set that aside. This unit, my goodness, I hope that didn't make you mad. It's a heavy box, I'm guessing books. And yep. I'm right, books. Look at that, we got Dungeon and Dragons, Matt, Portfolio, Folio 3D. Um, I've gotten tons of this stuff before and I've sold it for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on eBay. There's Magic, Planeswalker novel. Uh, we got Tron. I mean, they were into all the RPG stuff. There's no doubt about it. We've got, looks like we got the Harry Potter books as well. Let's see, what do we have over here? X-Men, Marvel, and what else? What else? I don't know, all kinds of, we don't have time to go through all of these. I mean, we gotta get done before the storm, storm comes. But you can just see, let's see what's in this box. Get a glimpse of, oh, there we go, more. Look, get a glimpse of what they were about, Star Trek. Rebellion, or excuse me, Star Wars Rebellion game, game manual. There's another one there, old Peanuts. Uh, we've got, look, RPG stuff right there. Dragon Lance, Dragon Lance. Um, we lift these up. Looks like there's a bunch of big ones, yep. See all the Harry Potters down there? So the full Harry Potter set even. Yeah, they were they were definitely into their gaming and RPGs. So great because that has tremendous resale value. This box says crafts on the side. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, see that? Looks like we got a bunch of pill bottles. Not drugs this time. Those are all beads. So it looks like there's a ton of beads in here for sure. Typically what I'll do with that is my daughters like to make jewelry and sell that. So there's a lot of bead organizers there as well. So I'll just, ah, we'll just get this to Chelsea and see what she can do with that. And then, we got this giant suitcase so let's see what happens here and, okay and we got a griddle not only do we have a griddle we have a sealed brand new griddle with a little bit of damage look at that if I knew how to cook I would keep that but seeing as how I don't know how to cook except for crock pot Maybe that would be good to go with the crock pot. Or maybe that would just sell really well here at the warehouse. This was in there too, which is an interesting piece because it looks handmade. So we take the lid off. We've got a, got a top on here that, come on, I think comes up, obviously comes up. Where's my knife? All right. No knife. I know what you're thinking. Jeremy, how can you not have a knife? Okay, let me show you. A cut knife. I got all of this going on in the sort. I got all of this everywhere. I've got all of that piled up. 
everything. I got hours and hours and hours of work that I've already done that you've seen in a matter of minutes. And you think the, I know where my knife is? You're right. It's right here, because Ron sent it to us. Let's see what we can do. See if we can get it out of there. Mm, I don't know what's going on. Might have to stab something. There we go. There we go. Oh, look what we got. We got a sewing... A sewing everything. So this must have been... More sewing, seamstress. Where they kept it all. Huh. Neat. Somebody must have made it. Maybe it was a gift. All right. And just like the knife. Right there. There you go. Used it. Found it and used it. Let's see what we have here in this box big box we got to get to that to that cash register and I still have not found the key okay see what we got here we got little little mermaid um, that's definitely little mer no Ariel little mer Ari I don't know it's a little bit of everything okay so that's little mermaid this looks like Beauty and the Beast Wow these magazines are stuck together like old porn magazine pages. Okay, so we got all kinds of Little Mermaid Beauty and the Beast cards. So somebody must have collected them. Set that aside. We've got a... Looks like maybe a silver pin. AMR. Anybody know what AMR stands for? AMR. Could be silver. Let's see what we got here. We got a cigar box. Looks like it's filled with CD inserts. I think that's all CD inserts there. Oh, look, 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 look. Pokemon. All right, let's press the button. You ready? Yeah. Got to catch them all. There's no Pokemon in there. Still cool little toy there. Look at this. Look, Tron trading cards. They were for two bucks. Doesn't look like they've been opened, but the wax paper is loose. We'll set that aside. Oh, there you go. You got the dice. Pearl Poly Cheaters. Would those be for Dungeon and Dragons? For Cow... Uh, 2000 is the copyright Cop Plow Games. I think is what it says. Here's another cigar box. Oh, then we got some more cards. And it looks like we got more CD inserts and Captain Jack, come on, be something to eat, be something, nothing. Oh, it's getting to dinner time. It's gonna get dark, it already is getting dark. Oh, look at this, it's a keychain. The backwards bush days left in office. All right, let's start a debate. Who loved Bush being in office and who hated it? No fighting. I just want to know, did you love Bush or hate him? In the comments. Okay, we got uh, Class of 96 Graduation Barbie. Look at that. It was a year after I graduated, so that's 42 years old then. We've got a, a bag here. Looks like it says Vera Bradley. Let's see what we got. We've got, we got a couple things in there. Hold a second. We got some needles, yarn needles, and we got, this looks like a Pokemon cover for Pokemon cards, but no. This looks like, what is this? Like a crocheter's emergency backpack? Huh. This looks like, Somebody who does needlework, their emergency backpack inside the Vera Bradley backpack. Put those needles back in there. We've got a Britannia the Bear, old beanie right there. Oh, look, we got another set of Tron cards, so that's two. Two Tron cards. 
I found a Tron Blu-ray DVD as well. And actually, I'm going to take it home. Can't wait to watch that one. That one's a good one. There's Corpse Bride. I found a lot of Corpse Bride stuff so far. I haven't shown it all to you because i got to get some work done. But uh, they obviously love the Corpse Bride. Oh, what do we got? Oh, come on. Look, look, we got it again. We got more of it. That's, you know, this is typical with storage units. We typically see all kinds of, all kinds of drugs. I'm just going to toss that. We see it all the time, and that's unfortunate. Okay, we got, oh, oh look, 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 look. Look, Bob Evans, $25 gift card. We'll have to call that when we get home. And Regal Cinema Entertainment gift card as well. And, ha, yeah, more stamps. I never buy stamps anymore. And they're forever stamps, even better. Okay, We've got Mad Magazine. Oh, look at this, old Zelda. The Wind, the Wind Waker. Must be the strategy guide for the old Zelda. How cool is that? And... Oh, that's, that's Dungeon and Dragons. TSR. We've got... Here's another box in here. Boys Cub Scout Things. Well, it looks like... Looks like everything Cub Scout is right in here. Down to the book. Yep. The book, the patches, to the handkerchief holder that I just dropped. All right, we'll set that aside. We've got Kino, Kino, Kino. I think that's Audrey Hepburn, isn't it? Audrey Hepburn. Auto. Auto Grammarkety. I have no idea what that says. Oh, if only I could read. I wish I could read. Okay, we have a pin for something. I can't see looking sideways, and I can't see up to the camera right now, so you'll have to let me know what it actually says. Hopefully it's gold. Look at this. What are you... This is marble, right? What do you call this? Is this a uh, mortise or isn't this you you take all your herbs and you you do that whole thing with them that's a nice thing right there that looks pretty let's see what we have here yeah cookie monster me and cookie monster could share those cookies with each other today let's see if we got a date no it's pretty cool though i wonder how old that is We've got, oh, look, 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 it's a Pokemon card. Remember when they came out with these? They're like 23 karat. These are, these are gold. I don't remember. Can you see the date down below? 1990, 94. These are, these are gold. I think they're 23 karat gold and they're heavy. Maybe they're just gold plated. I'm not sure. Let's set that aside. I'll we'll have to take that home and check it. We've got, oh no. It looks like we got Coke bottles that, that got the paper wet. There's definitely Coke missing from there even though the cap is on. I'm gonna set that over here. Let's get that out of there. Yeah, this one's wet too. Look at that. They're wet. That's not good. We got coke missing from there. There's one more down here. Yeah, that one that one looks soaked too. And there's definitely coke missing. Yep, that's nasty. Okay, let's see. We got just a few more things. Looks like we got a laser beam. And hey, here you go. That's for the Pokemon card. Yeah, right there. 23 karat gold plated trading card. That's for the Pokemon card. Sweet. It was right on that one. I've been through everything meticulously 
looking for this key because we want to use it. So I'm hoping maybe we can actually order a key and that's the bad news. I, I can't find the key. I looked through everything, everything. And the other bad news is it's freezing cold and it's dark outside. But the good news is this. George called me and she told me that one of our subscribers, I think it was John Cordisco, correct me if I am incorrect, but she said that they said there's a special way to get into these registers. You don't have to take a hammer to them. So we know it, there, there's something in it. We know that for sure. What it is, we don't know. So I guess what John and some others have said is there's a button on this that you can push and, and it'll, it'll open. But I've pushed all of these buttons, nothing like that. So we're gonna search, we're gonna see if we can find anything else. Like there's a key here. This will come open for the tape. So that's not an issue. I actually found a box of more tape. So we got plenty of tape, but there's keys not in there either. But that's unlocked. The rest of everything isn't. So when you look at all this, you've got a key spot there. You, you've got your key spot there, which again, that's unlocked. You've got your key spot here, which gets us, oh crap, into the register. And then, well, maybe if we, what, it, is this what they were talking about? Hold a second. This might be, this might be what she was saying. Give me, give me a second. What does this do? See, still nothing. This might be. Oh crap! Oh, okay. It, okay. Did you see what I just did? Okay. I pushed this. It's like a lever. It's a lever. Okay. Oh, I see coins. I see coins. Okay. I see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Nothing big. Nothing big. But look, you've got the the slot machine coins, but then you got the actual coins. So maybe maybe they paid for it. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Look. There's. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, hold a second. One, two, three, four. That's five fifties. That's 200, 250. Uh, we got twenties. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We got $80 there. Uh, oh, I can't believe it. Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There's a 10 in there, 60. Okay, we got... Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, there's all these coins. We'll just set that over there. Okay, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, 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 okay. Apparently this comes out or I broke it, one or the other. We've got coin there. Oh, wait, look, look. Wait, I don't wanna. Here, I'll do it this way. Look at this, look at this. This is everything that's been shaken in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got coin all over the floor right now. Yeah. Yes! Yes! John, what do I owe you? What percentage? Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, look at that. 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 Can you believe it? Look at that. Oh, I can't believe it. George, we did it again, George. What an amazing treasure hunt today. I mean, it just makes me all the more hungry and thirsty to go treasure hunting again tomorrow. And we're gonna be at a location that hasn't had an auction in over a year. It's supposed to be 15 units, a horrible snowstorm coming in, so nobody should be there. We gotta get everything for a buck, if not even cheaper, maybe even a penny, who knows? So make sure you subscribe so you get to see exactly what's going on. Hit that bell so you get a notification with the new videos. And don't be afraid to give us a like. You like the video? 
Give us a like. You want to tell us something? Tell us how you feel. Tell us something you learned. Timestamp. Identify. Whatever. Put it down in the comments. And if you dislike it, hit that dislike twice. Let everybody know how much you dislike our videos. But don't forget to subscribe because you never know what the hells we're going to do next. And remember, life is an adventure. Go find it.